to be coloring my hair, but it's not what you think, okay? Yep, that little Pierce Balm. It's the Clairol Natural Instincts. And what makes this hair color a lot different from other hair colors is because it doesn't have any of like the, I wanna say harmful ingredients, but it doesn't have like your ammonia, um, bleach, and anything like that. It's like a natural dye. That's why it's called Natural Instincts. And I have the shade Dark Brown. So this is supposed to create a healthy looking radiant color. Um, it's supposed to last up to 28 washes. I can't confirm with the knife. And the only reason I'm doing this is because I'm still growing the hair back right here, even though it looks very full. And just because of my hair density, okay? Um, let's see. I just wanna make sure I'm being safe and making sure that I also get to learn my hair as far as what it feels like when it's hydrated. But I do not like the color. I do not like that blondish brown. I'm just over it, I'm over it. So no shade to my previous color. It's just, I don't like that stark difference between my natural color and the colored hair. So time to go back dark. I wanna change, I want something new. So the instructions say you're supposed to apply the application all over wait 20 minutes and then you're going to use their conditioner to rinse it out i washed my hair yesterday because i knew i was going to use shampoo at that color my hair so if you plan on washing your hair if your hair needs to be washed please do it before you do this because you should not be washing your hair right after this i think it suggests that you wait three to four days before you wash it again so again um Let's see, 80% naturally derived ingredients, last 28 shampoos, it has coconut oil and aloe vera. So if you are allergic to the coconut, this won't be a good choice for you. No ammonia or added parabens. So this is supposed to be really, really healthy for your hair. In the box you have, which would be developer, but it's like a color activator. So it just activates the color. Right here is the color and it has a number one on it, so you'll be okay. And then it has the conditioner. It do come with gloves, so if you don't have gloves, it got you covered, okay? So let's let's mix this up. Let's mix this up. Pop off. And then you create the hole with the with the top, so you just kind of push it in. Pop. Like that. Like this, like that. And then you just push, you know, squeeze it out. Some people do put it in a bowl, but I'm okay with this applicator. I've used an applicator like this before when I used to do my little box dyes, which a lot of hair stylists or cosmetologists doesn't necessarily recommend box dyes because you're never sure you're gonna never sure you're gonna get the color that you want. You're doing this yourself. You don't know exactly what your hair needs, what section needs, like a 30 developer or a 20 developer or a 10 developer. So it's just more chances for things to go wrong. And that's why I really did like the L'Oreal high color. Ooh, that's okay. I still like the L'Oreal high color, but again, I'm not using developer at this time. I'm not using anything that penetrates the cuticle. So this is literally just gonna sit on my hair. And we'll shake this up and we'll be right back. Thumbs up on. And this is what it looks like once it's all shaken up. It's no like major thing to tell you like it's ready. So I'm just gonna start to take my little twist out. And my hair is, is detangled. Let me stand up here. With no tangled hair trying to do this. And I'm just gonna Apply it on there. No turning back. Now I do want to comb it through, but I'm just gonna use my Felicia leather wood just to make sure I get it all the way through. So the only thing with coloring, like coloring um, curly coily hair is you wanna make sure you get it on every strand of hair. Every strand, okay? Get all the curls. Let me take this section out. Let 
So I didn't say this before, but Clairol, the one that I'm using, is a semi-permanent. So what that means is it's not a permanent color. If you decide to change your mind, this is going to wash out. If you decide I really like it, you're going to have to redo this after so many washes. So it says 28 washes or shampoos. Just remember, if you're washing your hair weekly, you know, maybe you'll get a few months. But if you wash your hair every day, that's going to drastically change, like, how long this is going to last you. So please keep that in mind. Alright, gonna get the other little section over here. I decided to do this because in 2024 I'm not gonna be coloring my hair, and that's why in the beginning I said, "Hold on and hear me out." So in 2024, um, I'm not gonna be using anything that requires like developer bleach or anything in that nature. My hair is still recovering, so I don't want to do a lot. Yes, that is my ringtone. Okay, okay. So I'm just coming it through and I'm moving on to the next section. Me Cleo. JK y'all. So I put this on because I did not see under the dryer. I don't think this worked, y'all. I, I, I don't think it worked. I still see brown. Let me look in the mirror. I don't think I mean I may need another round. Another round, round, round. Mm -hmm. It's darker. Um. Okay, it may give me what I want. So, I'm going to go rinse this out of my hair. And I'm going to come back with the finale. So, I went with the Claro Dark Brown. As y'all can tell, this look black. Even in the sunlight, it, it looks black. So, if you want something lighter than this, you may want to go with like the regular brown. Don't do the dark brown or you're going to get this color. But I still like it. No problems. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe.